What's up guys and gals, it is I, once again, Yusuf El Senad, and today guys and gals, I wanna talk about and review the 2018 released anime series, 12 episode anime series, and one OVA or special episode, and this anime series, guys and gals, from 2018 is Morishita Shushe and Kakihara Yuko's anime adaptation of Tosei no Hari's manga of the same name, Gakuen Babysitters, also known as School Babysitters, and this anime series, guys and girls, my god, is so friggin' cute and so adorable and so much fun and is basically a comedy drama slash slice of life story and centers on these two brothers, one older and one younger. The oldest brother is named Kashima Ryuchi and the younger brother is named Kashima Kotoro and these two brothers guys and gals have been orphaned after the deaths of their parents both of who have died because of a plane crash a tragic accident it was and a tragic death for them both their parents the brothers parents and these two brothers guys and gals as they mourn their parents their deceased parents one woman one older woman spots them in the funeral and this older woman is Morino Mia Yoko and this older woman guys and girls is the chairman of her academy the Morino Mia Academy and this woman guys and gals takes in both the brothers Ryuchi and Kotaro essentially becoming their guardian and caretaker alongside her butler and closest assistant Saikoa Keigo, otherwise known as Saikawa-san, under the condition that Kashima Ryuchi becomes a babysitter and joins the babysitter club, a daycare center where basically they take care of babies, six babies in total, including his brother Kotaro and five other babies, and they are Mamizuka, Takumo, and Kazumo. Twins they are, twin brothers, one who's sad and the other one who's happy, sad and happy, quite a match they are guys and gals, indeed quite a match they are. Kumatsuka, Kirin, one of the only two female babies in this daycare center or this babysitter club and the other one is Sawatori Midori, the youngest and cutest of them all, a small baby girl who's so cute but all of them guys and gals are so cute and adorable. They are guys and gals. They really are. Boys and girls alike. Indeed guys and gals. Indeed they are. And let's not forget Kamatani Taka. Kamatani Taka guys and gals is so cute yet so bratty and so spoiled which is to be expected of some babies. Not all of them but this baby guys and gals Taka. Kamatani Taka is so spoiled and bratty and so loud but so cute and so loving towards his brother his older brother Kamatani Hayato Kamatani Hayato guys and gals has a habit of hitting his brother in the head hard anytime he becomes disobedient or spoiled or bratty and annoying to him and others including his close friend his quote and quote friend the brother of Kotaro Kashi Ryuchi. Despite that, guys and girls, Kamatani Hayato loves his brother so much. It's just that sometimes boys will show their love differently from other people and babysitters and guardians and parents. It's just how boys are, guys and girls. As the old saying goes, boys will be boys, which for some is bullshit, but in this case, Hayato and his brother Taka, Kamatani Taka, 
Africa, boys will be boys, and what can you do? Nothing, but oh well. And Kashima, Ryuchi guys and girls, becomes a full-time member of the babysitter club in the daycare center, which means Ryuchi-kun must function as both a student, a first-year student, and a babysitter at the daycare center or the babysitter club, and that guys and gals is the condition of Morino, Mia, Yoko, both his and his brother's caretaker and guardian and chairwoman of the academy he attends and works in now as a babysitter and this condition guys and gals, Kashima, Ryuchi will fulfill, he will guys and gals, trust me he will, damn right, for that is his duty as both an older brother and a student of the academy, my god guys and gals, this anime series was so awesome and so cute and just so much fun and so relatable and emotional and just so awesome as a whole. Once again guys and gals, this anime series was based on the manga of the same name by Tosino, Hari, and Tosino-san's writing and illustrations was so brilliant and so cute and so sweet and so heartwarming. It really was guys and gals and she is absolutely brilliant as both a writer and storyteller and mangaka. God bless her guys and gals. God bless her soul. Arigato Tosino-san. Thank you so much Tosino-san. Thank you so much. This anime series guys and gals reminds yours truly so much of Nickelodeon's Rugrats, a TV show which I watched as a young boy and loved. And this TV show Rugrats has remained one of my all-time favorites growing up for the very same reason yours truly loves Tosino, Hari's, Gakuin babysitters or school babysitters because of the story, the writing, the characters, the heart and soul. This series and this story possesses so much heart and so much soul and moments, emotional and heartfelt moments, plenty of them can be found in this series guys and gals and the story as a whole which once again was so awesome and so cute. The babies included most definitely guys and gals so relatable and emotional and just so heartwarming and this series guys and gals brought back so many fond memories from my childhood as both a baby watching Rugrats and as a little boy in general, a little boy who was maturing and growing up as a young man and an adult, the adult you guys and gals see before you. This young man guys and gals has grown up because of his parents even though right now I have issues with them, they are still my parents until death do we part and that guys and gals is the message of this series Gakuin babysitters or school babysitters and that message guys and gals is babies and children can be annoying as hell and a pain in the ass trust me guys and gals they can be I know firsthand but the greatest joy comes in watching them grow up into adults themselves and having children of their own with their respective spouses or significant others and they guys and gals will learn and realize how much of a pain they were and how annoying they were trust me guys and gals they will learn and realize that oh trust me guys and gals they will learn and realize oh they will besides the characters yours truly has mentioned and talked about Gakuin babysitters has so many great characters and mothers and guardians and fellow students of Kashima, Ryuchi and Kamatani, Hayato and they are Inomata, Maria, a young woman who's independent and strict and very forthright and determined as both a student and someone who wishes to keep the rules in check and to make sure others, her fellow students, follow the rules just as she does, Inomata, Maria, but Inomata, Maria guys and gals deep down is very kind-hearted and sweet and very shy and insecure, insecure about herself and the fact that she knows she is a mood killer or a party pooper but guys 
boys and girls, Kashima Ryuchi breaks through Inomata, Maria's barrier, and brings forth a kinder and sweeter person, a kinder and sweeter Inomata, Maria, who, in secret guys and girls, has a huge crush on him, Kashima Ryuchi, and can you honestly blame her guys and girls? He's so cute and so smart and caring, especially to his younger brother, Kotaro, but Inomata, Maria guys and gals, does not have the guts or courage to admit it, her love and affection for him, and the same can be said about Ushimaru, Yuki, Ushimaru, Yuki guys and gals, is a young woman in the same class as Kashima, Ryuchi, by the way guys and gals, Inomata, Maria, is a second year student above Kashima, Ryuchi, and Kamatani Hayato and, of course, Ushimaru Yuki. Ushimaru Yuki guys and gals is so shy and so nervous and so quiet, but is so kind-hearted and so sweet and adorable she is. Oh, she is, guys and gals. And Ushimaru Yuki, as yours truly has mentioned, just like Inomata Maria, has a huge crush on him, Kashima Ryuchi, two women who have one thing in common and that's they're both shy and nervous and insecure but both are kind-hearted and sweet and generous and both have a crush on him Kashima Ryuchi once again and these two guys and gals are so cute and adorable but hey guys and gals that's Inomata Maria and Ushimaru Yuki and then we have Tomoya Yagi Tomoya Yagi guys and gals is a second year student just like Inomata Maria and this young man guys and gals is so popular and so loved by the ladies of the school but this young man guys and gals Tomoya Yagi has a weird and strange love for the babies and children in general including the babies of the daycare center or the babysitter club and every time he gets close to them or touches their cheek, which once again is a weird fetish and love for him. Tomoya, Yagi, he bleeds through his nose and that, guys and gals, is beyond weird and creepy as hell. And yes, guys and gals, Tomoya, Yagi, in many ways, based on what we know of him, is a pervert and a pedophile. Indeed, he is, guys and gals, and that's fucked up. It is, guys and gals, but hey, that's anime for you. And then we we have Chukishi Mezu. Chukishi Mezu, guys and gals, is in the same class as Tomoya Yagi and Inomata Maria. And Chukishi Mezu is a young man who has eight brothers or nine brothers, or among them could be sisters and not all brothers. But Chukishi Mezu takes care of them all as both an older brother and parent, single parent, which is very hard and difficult it is guys and gals but Chukishi Mezu takes pride as both a parent and brother to them all without any regrets guys and gals because that's his duty and responsibility as a parent and brother older brother to them just like Kashima Ryuchi and his responsibility and duty to his brother Kotaro and then guys and gals we have Yoshihito Usei the senior but not that older baby sitter who is very kind-hearted and very sweet but someone who is quite lazy and quite laid back but this man guys and gals the senior babysitter of the daycare center is someone who does care for the babies and his fellow babysitters his junior babysitters including Kashima Ryuchi and Kamatani Hayato, Yoshihito, Useida, guys and gals, more often than not, carries with him the youngest and cutest baby of them all, Sawatari Midori.
By the way guys and gals, this right here is not so much a spoiler, but something I want you guys and gals to know. Sawatari Midori's first word is the name of her babysitter himself, the senior babysitter Usada, or as she calls him, Usada. And then guys and gals, finally you have the parents of the babies themselves. First up, we have the parents of the twins. Takuma and Kazuma Maziko Kosuke and Umi the mother and father the mother being Umi and the father being Kosuke and second we have the mother and father of Sawatori Midori Sawatori Yukari and Yutaka the father being Yukari and the mother being Yutaka And third, we have the mother and father of Kamatsuka, Kirin, and they are Kamatsuka, Yayo, the mother, and Sataru, the father, and finally guys and gals, we have the single mother of both Kamatani Hayato and his little brother Taka Kamatani Shizuka, the single, hardworking, independent, strict, but loving and caring mother of both of them, her boys, her little, annoying, yet cute boys, Hayato and Taka, all of the other characters yours truly loved so much, I did guys and gals, I did, especially the brothers, Kashima, Ryuchi, and Kotaro, both of who love each other so much, it's infectious, and so sweet, and so charming, and so cute, and so adorable, it is guys and gals, that's why, exactly why, the ladies of the academy, which... Kashima, Ryuchi is attending, have no chance with him because his love and heart belongs to Kotaro, his younger brother, baby brother, and he's so cute, just like Kashima, Ryuchi is cute, and by the way guys and gals, all four mothers of the babies work as teachers in the academy, the same academy managed and owned by Morino, Mia, Yoko, the chairwoman, herself, which essentially means the students and teachers, babies, and of course the baby sitters, all of them guys and gals are family, one big family, a loving and happy family they are, oh they are guys and gals, and that's why this anime series is one I do recommend you guys and gals watch if you wish, please do, and thank you guys and gals for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series, gaming content, and so much more. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.